And that brings in Hunter Dozier. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. A 1 1. Ball, that's out. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. A runner at first with no outs here. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. Cutter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And that one is gone! Two run shot to straightaway center. Home run number three here in the early going. And with that, it's now a six to three ball game. Man, he's kicking himself after that pitch. As soon as it left his hand, he knew it was a mistake. The next thing he knew, it was screaming through the night sky and over the fence. And up steps Salvador Perez. And the starter remains the out there despite the just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So the good news is he'll wind up going the requisite five innings for the victory, but he does leave his bullpen some considerable work to do before this one's done. Wait, Justin wait, Miller takes wait, over wait, on the mound wait. here with nobody out in the now sixth inning. The Number 60, Justin. Here's the first pitch to him. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Salvador Perez behind in the count nothing in two so back to back sliders for strikes does he come back with yet another hey that's back to back really good sliders I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now a ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher hot shot to third and handled for the first out now that Number 66. Digging in, Ryan O'Hearn. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set and the pitch. Now the 0-1. All one. One oh. Hits are even at seven apiece. And there's a base hit on the line. He'll get it into second, and he'll get in there okay. safely. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a I'll dead red piece board. of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Like hell. Okay. 
to the plate now, Michael Franco, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Fouled away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Three and two to the Royals designated hitter. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. From the stretch. Ball, that pitch was up. The 1 0. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting, shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Adalberto Mondesi. He's two for three and looking for more here. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Two men are on with two men out. Nope. Ball one. Sharp ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Blue Jays six and the Royals three. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. One for two on his line so far in the game. The left fielder. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And right into the shift. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. That is not the way he wanted to start off this happening. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. 
So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball back down the right. Now the 1 0. But a swing and a miss, strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Runner! Runner goes per second. In the dirt here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. a swing and a drive hit well out to right field so they're going back at the track on the warning track he makes the catch throw won't get him now that the right field Brandon. in now Rendell Richard he's one for two in this one First pitch coming, here it is. And it's fouled away. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gritchick is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Hanging curveball taken, though, for a second strike. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect. But if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. One out and a runner on third. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely Number pitching 10. for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Into the box, Reese McGuire, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Han sets. Here's the pitch. Men on third with two down. Runner, yes, now yes. the runner's on his way home. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. Seventh inning coming up. The Jays are out in front, 6-3. to three. Now with the plate, Alex Gordon. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Alex Gordon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is pulled into right. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees. And he's on to open up the inning. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Whit Merrifield next to hit. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. 
Nope. And he takes this one high, one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Now a move over to first, oh, back in standing. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pops this one up. Shaw in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Shaw is over and he puts it away for the first down. The right view of the draw. Jorge Soler. One man gone now for KC in the seventh. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Can't catch up to that pitch, and it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes again, 1-2. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense came, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Anthony Bass takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Anthony Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there at the knees. Strike one. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Hit out towards second. Reined in. 
The second for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Royals leave one. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. So striding in, Reese McGuire. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Number 10. First offering on its way. Liner toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. In now, Kevin Biggio. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Bo Bichette. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and it's a foul ball pulled high in the air out to left field and there to take it in is Gordon for route number two now batting third baseman Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So coming to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hot shot to third. Dozier picks it up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for Toronto. They still lead it six to three. Digging in, Salvador Perez. He'll start us off in the eighth. Salvador. Here comes the first pitch. 
fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen Number has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Stepping in now, Ryan O'Hearn. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And he falls behind 0-2. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Good heater to strike him out there and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back to back punch outs on only six pitches. Late now, Michael Franco. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Hey. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a two-out single. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Now batting, the center fielder, Brett Phillips. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. From the belt, the pitch. Count one and oh. Now the 1-0. Oh, Two out with the man at first. Hit out towards second. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hey. hit, make him one for four in the game now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this yeah, pitcher that. thought he was going to cruise That's through this inning, and That's now he's got terrible. traffic, and he's in Ball jeopardy. With a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi, he represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Royal strand a pair. They're still doubled up. It's 6 3.
Ian Kennedy is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 31, Ian Kennedy. Coming to the plate now, Adam Eaton. Previous history with Ian Kennedy. He's got five base hits in 20 at bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Phillips is there for it, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Lourdes. Guriel. Stepping in, Lourdes Guriel. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as a left hander starts to throw. And this misses as well, so it goes to 2 0 now on the J shortstop. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. In the air to straightaway right. There to pull it in is Solaire, and there are two away. Now batting. No left fielder. Day off, sir. Turn that day. Digging in to try it again to Oscar Hernandez. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. And a good fastball from Kennedy as he gets ahead with strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Very high, two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Count is three and two. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. It was a fly-out for him in his last trip. First things first, here's a throw over, and he'll get back in standing. Kennedy pauses. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. And there he goes towards second. Another one sent foul. Runner. He's on the move again from first. Hard hit ball to second. Merrifield brings it in. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Blue Jays held in check as they're unable to add to their 6-3 to three lead.
Striding in once again, Alex Gordon. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Here comes the first pitch. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Popped him up. McGuire shading to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting the second baseman with Merrifield. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Whit Merrifield struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. Well, there's another bullet base hit. They've already stranded 11 runners. Could this be the even dozen, d -Row? This is a hitting coach's nightmare right here. You work so hard to learn how to hit with runners in scoring position. To leave 11, potentially 12 runners on base is a sin. In is Jorge Soler. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. So a two-run shot to left center. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. And every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. Now back. Third baseman. Okay. Hunter Dozier digging in now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. fouled away one run game here in the top of the ninth and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away it's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him he went right after him for the strikeout Giles gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Number 51. Ken. At the plate, Salvador Perez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He went down on strikes last time up. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1.
Now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get under it to make the catch. And the Blue Jays have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Well, he didn't even break a sweat in this one. Three pitches, he gets the out and heads to the clubhouse to celebrate. Can't do much better than that. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end, 6-5 to five, the final. The Jays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Trent Thornton gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jacob Junis couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Fans are final high school tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Six runs, eight hits, one error. They left four men on base. For Kansas City, five runs on 14 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.